no, 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 no. Empire Eva. All right, and right before we start, I want to let you guys know about a new channel we have called Tier List. All of us are going to be on it. There's going to be me, Eamon, Landon, Rebecca. Everyone's going to be on it. Make sure you subscribe. Check it out in the link below. We already have a video up on the channel. It's so cool. Please check it out. Hey everyone, welcome back to Most Amazing Top 10. I'm your host, Che Arena. Now, everything in one way or another is lost to time. Well, except my rugged good looks. But there are pieces of history left behind so we can try and piece together what has happened in the past. So today, we're gonna do some digging and find out what used to be. With our list of 10 scary artifacts that prove advanced civilizations used to exist. Like always, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and hit the little notification bell and without any further ado let's get started number 10 the dendera lights when was the first light bulb invented well it was way after the common era calendar started but maybe it wasn't maybe the ancient egyptians had some hookups for light bulbs and they used to throw dope raves the hathor temple in dendera egypt has carvings in the wall which look like gigantic light bulbs the egyptians may have found a way to harness some sort of energy to make light bulbs if we're going to go super conspiracy theory which we are some people believe that the pyramids were actually power plants with copper wires inside of them they used them to tap into the natural electrical energy floating around the atmosphere, pull it down into the earth, and send it into surrounding cities. If this is true, my Egyptian rave theory is not that far off. Number 9. Robots? We barely have robots now, and you're telling me that before they had toilet paper, they were making robots? Well, not that high tech, but it's still pretty cool. In ancient Greece, Philion of Byzantium made a working maid. The way this contraption worked, it was a statue with moving parts. It was perfectly weighted with a pitcher in one hand and the other hand was open. When you placed a cup in the open hand, it would shift the weight of the statue, causing it to move and pour the pitcher into the cup. Basically, the best bartender ever. He'll never cut you off. This was one of the only artifacts like this, so it's most likely that robots weren't commonplace back then. It was probably only the super rich ancient Greeks that could afford it. This robot was the 8K TV of its day. Number 8. Turkish Gilding over 8,000 years ago, the Turks were balling. They were putting gold on everything. They put gold on your house, gold in your chairs, gold on your baby. I don't know if that last one is true, but it was 8,000 years ago. I'm sure someone had to try. Who wouldn't want to put gold on a baby? That'd be dope. You have a golden baby. The Turks would use mercury to perfect this gilding process, and they were so good at it that we still haven't figured out how to do it to this day. It's 8,000 years later, and with all the technological advancements we have now, we still can't find out exactly how they did it. Maybe it was aliens. Maybe the alien version of Bobby Shmoda came down and helped them put gold on everything. Number 7. Lunar Tack Disc When you think of Vikings, you think of pillagers, murderers, pointy hats but they were also some of the best sailors alive. They were kings of navigating the sea, pulling up on some foreign shore and cutting everyone's head off. So it shouldn't be a huge surprise that they might have been the first civilization to discover a compass. The lunar tack disc was discovered in Greenland in 1984. It's believed that the Vikings would use these devices at night when they couldn't use the sun to navigate. It's not certain how these devices would work, but it seems they would give the user a rough idea of where the sun would be in the sky after it was set. The lunar tack disc would work in parts with other things like wooden slabs and crystals. I never thought bloodthirsty vikings would be into crystals. You come home after a long day of mass murder and your wife's like, whoa, your chakras are all over the place. Number 6. The Bell I don't know if you know this, but coal takes at least 30 million years to form. That's why this next one is pretty interesting. This one is a brass bell which was discovered encased in a chunk of coal. The coal that the bell was encased in was over 300 million years old and the mine that the bell was found in was over 100 feet deep. The bell also had carvings which were similar to the Hindu god Garuda, but the bell was discovered in West Virginia. How did a brass bell with Hindu god carvings encased in 300 million year old coal end up in West Virginia? These are so many questions, but it might be signs of advanced civilizations existing in North America way before we think. Number 5. The Puri Reese Map 
Cartography is pretty easy now that we have satellites. We can see the whole world from space and just take a picture and then print out the picture. But then the printer's like, I can't print it, I'm out of color. And you're like, whatever, just print in black and white. And he's like, nah, I need more magenta. And you're like, I said black and white. Believe it or not, making maps was even harder back then. The Puri Reese map was discovered in 1929 by Gustav Adolf Deismann, and it was an absolute marvel. The map depicted a very detailed charting of Antarctica before it was covered with ice. It was made by cartographer Haji Ahmed Muhiddin Puri. The map is so incredibly detailed that it puzzled the archaeologists that found it. Who was able to make something this detailed without some sort of advanced technology? Also, we can't compare it to what Antarctica would look like because it's now covered in ice. So we'll just have to wait to find find out if it's actually accurate. Number 4. The London Hammer This isn't some bad 80s hair metal band. This is the discovery of one of the oldest dated tools ever. The London Hammer was discovered by a couple who went out for a walk and they saw a chunk of wood coming out of a rock. They thought it looked interesting enough so they took it home. Later, their son decided to take a hammer and chisel to it and break into it. Inside, he found what looked like a crude design of a hammer. They took the hammer to some archaeologists and this is where things get crazy. The rock encasing the hammer dates back 400 million years and the iron used to make the hammer's head is over 500 million years old. The hammer's head is over 90% pure iron so there's no way this could have happened naturally in nature. Parts of the hammer's handle have been turned to coal which means the hammer itself is at least 30 million years old because the coal takes at least 30 million years to form. My guess is someone jumped into a time machine and got stuck way back. Never be the first guy to go into a time machine. Wait until they work out the kinks. Number three, the Coso artifact. In 1961, a group of hikers was going rock collecting somewhere in the California mountains. These guys were super cool dudes. They came across some geodes, which are crystals encased in rock. They took them home to cut into them to see what kind of crystals would be inside. What they found was more than just crystals, but a porcelain casing, a spring, and some metal parts encased inside the rock. The pieces all resembled a spark plug but the rock was dated 5,000 years old. The craziest part about this is the Kazo artifact and the three hikers who made the discovery have all gone missing. Super creepy. Number two, nuclear reactor. How old would you think the first ever nuclear reactor is? If I told you it was 10,000 years old, you probably wouldn't believe me. Well, this nuclear reactor discovered in Gaboon, Africa is actually way older than that. In 1972, a team of archaeologists dug up a 1.8 million year old nuclear reactor. They were able to determine the age through carbon dating and from the design, it seems like it was man-made. This is one of the craziest discoveries ever recorded. Some people think that it was a meteor that crashed into the earth and just left back some nuclear energy. But other people think that it was aliens who came here to bioengineer humans and create new life and then study it from a distant planet. I don't know. Hey, maybe everyone's wrong. Maybe some people are right. I don't know. Number one, spheres. If you find one naturally occurring anomaly, you can chalk it up to chance. But if you find over 200 in the same place over a 30 year period, then I guess there might be something going on. Metallic spheres started popping up in a mine in South Africa in the 1970s. There were metal on the outside with some line markings that go down the center. They range from sizes of two and a half centimeters to 10 centimeters. If you break into them, they seem to have some sort of soft material in them that breaks down when it comes in contact with the air. So far it's not that crazy. But these spheres are dated back 2.8 billion years before dinos. Before almost anything, how could you have something that's clearly crafted dated so old? Obviously, I don't have the answer, but we can speculate. Time travel? Aliens? Maybe this is human beings second run at life. Maybe there's been civilizations that have lived on this planet before and we're just another group taking a shot at life. Well everyone, that's our list. Thank you so much for tuning in. As always, make sure you like, comment, subscribe and hit the little notification bell. Until next time, I've been Chaterena and I can't wait to forget all these things we've been questioning so I can just go home and play PlayStation. Thanks very much. Good night.